Welcome to another episode of Marine Science Facts. Today we will be exploring the deep sea. The deep sea, often defined as depths below 200 meters, 656 feet, is one of the most mysterious and least explored environments on Earth. As a marine biologist and oceanographer, I find it fascinating and full of surprises. Here are some intriguing aspects of the deep sea environment and its ecosystems. The deeper you go, the higher the pressure. At depths of around 4,000 meters, 13,123 feet, the pressure is about 400 times greater than at sea level. This pressure is equivalent to having the weight of 50 jumbo jets pressing down on you. Temperatures in the deep sea are near freezing, typically between 2 degrees Celsius and 4 degrees Celsius, 36 degrees Fahrenheit to 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite the cold, life thrives in this environment. Below about 1,000 meters, 3,280 feet, sunlight cannot penetrate. This zone, known as the aphotic zone, is in complete darkness. Despite this, many organisms have adapted to live in these conditions. One of the most fascinating features of the deep sea are hydrothermal vents. These are cracks in the ocean floor where geothermally heated water escapes. The water can reach temperatures of up to 400 degrees Celsius, 752 degrees Fahrenheit, yet is rich in minerals. Many deep sea creatures produce their own light through a process called bioluminescence. This is used for various purposes such as attracting prey, deterring predators, and communication. The anglerfish, for example, uses a bioluminescent lure to attract prey right to its mouth. Deep sea organisms exhibit incredible adaptations. For instance, the gulper eel can open its mouth wide enough to swallow prey much larger than itself. The giant squid, on the other hand, has the largest eyes in the animal kingdom, which help it detect faint light and bioluminescence in the dark waters. Some species exhibit a phenomenon known as deep sea gigantism, where they are significantly larger than their shallow water relatives. Examples include the giant isopod and the colossal squid. This gigantism is thought to be an adaptation to the cold, high-pressure environment, possibly due to slower metabolism and longer lifespan. At hydrothermal vents, unique ecosystems thrive based on chemosynthesis rather than photosynthesis. Chemosynthetic bacteria convert the chemicals emitted by the vents into energy, forming the base of the food web. These bacteria often live in symbiotic relationships with other vent organisms, such as tube worms, clams, and mussels. Some deep sea creatures exhibit behaviors that are still not fully understood. For instance, the vampire squid uses a bizarre defense mechanism, where it turns itself inside out, displaying spiny projections to deter predators. Some deep-sea corals are among the oldest living organisms on Earth, with some colonies estimated to be over 4,000 years old. It is estimated that only a small fraction of deep-sea species have been discovered. Many expeditions discover new species almost every time they explore the deep sea. When whales die and their carcasses sink to the ocean floor, they create unique ecosystems known as whale falls. These provide a feast for a wide variety of deep sea organisms and can sustain them for decades. The deep sea is a final frontier on our planet, teeming with life that has adapted in extraordinary ways to survive in one of the harshest environments imaginable. It's a place of wonder and mystery, where every dive reveals new surprises and deepens our understanding of the resilience and diversity of life on Earth.